Hi guys! It is time to set up my January Designs by Planner Perfect journal, notebook, commonplace book. I never quite know what to call it, but in the sub box it is the journal. So I've got my January box here. The washi, not my favorite, but the stickers, the notebooks, and the cards are so gorgeous. I love every single one of these. So you get two sheets of each one and I can't wait to use some. And the gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous journal. So I get the blank one, I get the A5 size and today I wanna set up just the journal. But let me give you a quick peek at this beautiful book which I will be setting up soon, just not in this video. Okay, so let me set that aside. I've got the washi here. You know what, I think I forgot to get all my other washi as well. So I'm gonna have to go do that. But I have some things that I know I'm gonna put in there. This'll be for my routines. Just some beautiful things that I found on Pinterest, Canva. I printed them off with my printer. They're just on computer paper right now. Things that inspire me and things I will use. So you'll see how that works out. So if you, saw my January, no, my December notebook. It's this one. It's the one that is beautiful and holds, I guess, everything. So I still have a couple of weeks left of using this. I'm not going to actually take it out, but I am going to set it aside for reference. I'm going to be repeating some of the same spreads, but I also, where's my list? already thought through, oops, sorry, I think I just wiggled the table in the camera. Um, I thought through the different things that I do want to include for January, and I am going to use these to get set up, but I need some more washi tape, so one moment. Okay, I did pick out a nice selection here, plus I will use probably a couple of these. Um, not the red one, it's kind of red with snowflakes, but I'm going for this kind of blue, and even a little bit of green and some golds and silvers here. These are kind of the themes, I think, for January. And actually, it matches the cover really well, which was not planned. But when I think of January, I think of cold. I think of blue and white, the cold, the snow, the sky, that kind of stuff. So I'm just going to put all of these up here to grab when I want to. Okay, so I do want to do kind of a January cover page, and most likely it's going to be just the center page right here. Let me see, am I in frame? I'm sorry for the shadows. It's a very dreary day, and I'm just kind of working with what I've got. So let me see if I want, I might want to use this. For January. Um, honestly, I didn't think through some of these with a ton of detail. Um, I really just picked a few things and I'll set up what I have and then I think the rest is going to be set up on off camera as I get to it over the next couple of weeks but you'll get the main gist and the main setup. So this is just a collage. I really, let's see, do I want the tape on the outside or the inside? I think I'm gonna do it on the outside. Um, just a collage and I felt like it was cozy. It does have some pops of pink, which I love. Let's see, what washi do I want to use? This has a lot of pictures, so I actually want to go with some of my more neutral washi. Actually, none of these are really that neutral. Um, I might just use the blue bows. So this is from Simply Gilded. A couple of these tapes are from Simply Gilded. A couple from the Planner Perfect January sub box. Which, by the way, I have a coupon code in the description box for Planner Perfect. You can use it to get 20% off of any paper good. 
Um, I believe you can use it on your subscription if you want to join. I think you can use it on any book in the store and extra washi tapes and extra tippins and things like that. Speaking of which, where did my tippins go? Um, it's still in my box. They're still in this sub box. There they are. Because I might want to use some of these as pictures, as, let's see, how am I going to get these open? As inspiration. I just, I don't use these enough and I really want to and I really should. Ooh, if I can just get them open. That would help. Okay, so I'll probably use this 2023 one. So I'm going to set that in my pile. Be strong and courageous. I really love this one, but I wish it didn't have a saying on it. Probably, oops, probably use that. Um, I might use that, but I don't know. Oh, that's cute. I like warm hugs. All the cardinals are beautiful. Okay, so I will probably use these ones. But first of all, I just want to letter January and a little nervous to freehand it. Hmm, does it have a sticker on here anywhere that says hello January? It says hello winter. Um, I'm trying to think if I have any January stickers. Ooh, okay. We're just gonna kinda gonna kinda wing it here, guys. Can you air January? It actually turned out really well, thankfully. <laughs> and I was gonna write hello, but I'm not. I'm just gonna leave that. I like the washi tape. Um, I may take some of these stickers. Well, let's see here. Let's do, let's do a little of this. Where did my cutter go? Here it is. And let's take this one here. Just kind of a neutral one. And we're gonna put it underneath. There we go. And, hmm. Do I want to use any of these stickers on this page? None of them are really blue or pink enough, I think, to match. So, hmm. Just put a pop of this at the top. No, I don't like how that looks. Um, let me just try a teeny bit of this here at the top. It's a little bit hard to see from my angle, so I hope this is relatively straight. Eh, it is a little slanted. And let's use this one again. Actually, let's just do a rough edge him here. Oops. Again, a little slanty, but it just kind of has a scrapbooky feel. I might add more stickers. I do have um, a couple of kits. Let me pull this over. I have a couple of kits that I'll be using throughout January, just very wintry kits. Um, my kit for next week. And with all of these leftover pieces, a lot of them might really fit. Actually, let me look through these. It might coordinate. Let me see if any of these feel right. There's a January one. So these are more blues and teal. Actually, this one kind of coordinates to me. Could maybe put this in the corner. Ooh, I might do that. Or I could probably just put the tree and I kind of want to do the penguin. Oops. So I could put this down here. 
and this adorable little penguin. It's kind of like that. There. So just sort of inspiration, Hello January. And then I'm gonna flip the page and where's my cheat sheet? So I'm gonna just kind of highlight things over here as I get them done. My January word of the year, I did not print anything out for this. So I am just going to decorate the page a little bit, but my word of the year is going to be persist. And it's the idea that no matter how the year goes, no matter how much is in my control, no matter how much is outside of my control, that I want to just persist with the things that are important to me. Um, I'm trying to read, I'm going to read through the Bible in a year. And I've talked about that a little bit and I still might do a follow-up video just about that because it really is the easiest way to read the Bible in a year. It has so much room for, you know, falling behind, sick days, vacation days, and it's easy to catch up and not be stressed. So I just want to persist. Um, I am doing great with my workouts. Um, I want to persist. I want to, you know what, I can't, again, I can't control if I have sick kids for a week which eats up my time and doesn't give me that um, opportunity. Maybe I'm, you know, working with kids or consoling kids or something like that during my workout time and I don't have a chance to do it any other time. Um, but just persist. And so the next earliest available time to just pick it back up. So I just want to have the mentality throughout the year that there will be ups and downs, things out of my control, but I wanna persist in the things that are important. And so I will write some of those things down. And it's possible, did I put it in my, I think I put it here in my um, other notebook, which as soon as I find the page, I will show you. Yes, right here. Um, so my January ideas persist and my verse for the year will be Galatians 6, 9. Let us not grow weary of doing good, for in due season we will reap if we do not give up. So I don't want to give up. I don't want to give up on myself. And if I persist in doing good, if I persist with the goals, then I will see results. And if I don't, I will reap what I sow. So that's kind of a positive and a negative. So let me think here. I kind of want to write persist across the center and it's an uneven amount of letters so I think um, I'll just kind of start lettering it and if it looks uneven I can use a sticker to balance it out so persist how do I want to do my P Ooh, my S is gonna kind of end up in the middle, actually. Persist, oops. I really butchered that, because I had to go over the, the crease persist. But it's okay, it doesn't matter. So persist. I will take some time to handwrite the verse, probably. Um, this would be a great place actually to put this card. Let's see. Can I tuck it over and not cover up? Ooh. If I put her here, she will not cover up the letters. So where's my regular tape? So I'm just going to tape her on like this and leave room for... being able to tip it up. And I could write something here if I wanted to. So that's pretty. And then I can put some of my thoughts up here. So that is, oops, that spread is finished. Okay, where was my cheat sheet here? Word of the year. Um, okay. 
so let me think. I don't want to do my Instagram ideas next. I don't want to do my monthly menu. Um, monthly view routines. Um, a bucket list. Habit tracker. I think I want to put some of these threads next. So I do want to do a January type bucket list. Um, let's see here. I'm going to use... Which washi tape? I'm going to use these florals, or did I just use those? No, I didn't. I used the geometric pattern one. So I am going to use a combination of lettering and stickers that I may or may not have <laughs> to just kind of create um, kind of a bucket list slash mood board for things I want to do here in January. It's more of, it is a little bit more towards a mood board than a strict bucket list, I guess. Um, let's just do bucket list. Bucket. list. And let's see if I have anything here in these stickers. We definitely want hot cocoa. So let's just put this here. And actually, um, I don't think I have a gray dot thing. So I'll just put like a little, little check box. And drink cocoa. That's kind of what I'm going for here. Um, we can build a snowman. We can ring in the new year. We can have a movie night. Um, ooh, tea and reading by the fire. So let's put this one over here to balance out those reds. Um, I'm gonna ring in the new year. Uh, let's put this one up here. A movie night and a snowman. Let's put the movie night. And snowman and again I'm gonna look through some more of my stickers and maybe fill in a couple more this is meant to be fun and things that I would kind of do anyways um, ring in the new year and book by the fire. Build a snowman. Put some ideas for me down in the comments of things that you would have on your own bucket list or you think I should add to mine. So we'll actually do a popcorn and movie night. Popcorn and movie night. Definitely with at least some of my oldest kids to stay up for that. Okay, so that is my um, bucket list. Let's see, okay. I would like to work on my clothes this year and maybe create a capsule wardrobe idea or at least just kind of, like I said, sort through my things and find a way to mix and match a little bit more, um, use Pinterest for inspiration that's gonna kind of take the whole month perhaps or a couple weeks into the month 
here and there as I just get ideas. And then I will either print them out with my little Canon Ivy and put them on this page or just print them out on paper. Uh, either way is totally fine. And that is how I will work through, I don't know, being a better dresser maybe. So this page is definitely one that I am going to set up in order to be able to add to it and use it throughout the month. Um, I think I'm still gonna call it a capsule wardrobe, even though it may not technically be one. Capsule. And wardrobe. And then I can just, like I said, add all of those. Um, okay, so that's that off of my cheat sheet here. Um, I think I want to do my routines currently. I think I'm going to do some of these next. Okay, so the routines page was a lot of fun. And I used one of those in December like this. I just love how it looks. Um, I had what the kids were doing, but what I was doing at the same time over here, using these timestamp type stickers. Um, the shop that I got them from no longer is open, but you could probably find these somewhere else. So let me just put these in the center and I'm gonna stand up <laughs> to try to make sure I'm getting these as even as possible here. So I do want to move them out from the center a little bit more. That looks pretty good. And put this one over here. And again, we still have a couple of weeks, well not a couple weeks, like a week and a half left of December. And we're in Christmas week and we're going to be... Um, just on break and my head's not going to be thinking about the routine yet. <laughs> and so I'm gonna give myself some space to think about my routine over the next, I don't know, 10, 10 or so days before I really have to make a decision. So I think I'm gonna use this snowman because it will be winter. <laughs> Uh, tape. I'm just going to put this at the top. And the bottom, probably. So I did just place a huge order with the washi tape shop. I do have a coupon code for them down below. It'll save you 10%. I can't wait for that to get in. I was definitely feeling like I needed to refresh some of my tapes. I feel like I have a lot of spring and summer, but not a lot of winter, and I'm excited to get those in. There. So this will be the routine. I'm gonna put, um, I'm just gonna put my name on the side, I think. because I had plenty of room to write this way. And then I'm gonna put the kids over here like this. There. And then I will use my pen and highlighters to fill that in. Sorry, I just stood up and jiggled the table. Okay, so that is another spread down. What else do I wanna do? Okay, so let's see. I'm gonna put this here maybe for decoration and what tape do I want to use? Hmm. Well, I haven't used this yet and even though, yeah, I think I'm gonna use this one. Let's go up and down. Like this. I did want to 
put a January book, books to read spread in here, even though in my Hobonichi, I am going to kind of keep long-term records of what I did read. So this will be, um, again, over the next couple of days, I will think through like, what have I been interested in reading lately? Um, what would I like to read right now? I like to read some, um, sorry, just pulling these hairs from everywhere. Sometimes I'm in the mood for a certain kind of genre. Um, right now I, I'm really enjoying thrillers actually. Ah, there's a little piece of like fuzz, fuzzy, like fuzzy sweater or something underneath that. There, I got it. Okay, so I'm really actually into thrillers right now. I haven't been able to get into any of the kind of warm, light, romantic or anything like that Christmassy or wintery books. And I'm reading thrillers that take place any time of the year. So usually I, last year I was a little more themey, like in the winter, I was reading winter, winter themed books or books that I associated with winter. And right now um, I've been struggling to fit reading in. So I'm really just gonna go with what I want. And so I will use this, I will list some ideas maybe on this side. And then um, my goal is to read a book a week. This upcoming, year which basically means over the course of the year to read 60 books and even this year when I um, didn't have a goal and didn't put any pressure on myself to read that was very easy sometimes there will be months where I might read 10 books and then there might be a month where I don't read any so I think it will even out in the end but I'm just kind of shooting for 60 and so maybe uh, come this time next year like Thanksgiving and uh, early Christmas time, I'll be like, oh, I'm, you know, I'm eight books away and really push and try to read some. I think that would be kind of fun, actually. So pressure in a good way, no pressure, also in a good way, however, however it ends up. So um, do I just write book ideas, maybe? I'll write book ideas. Book ideas okay so I'll list a few here again as ideas but then I'll actually record the ones I maybe read um what is next oops I haven't been crossing these off okay so books so my goal is to read four or five books um four or five books this month. Okay, I would like to do a currently page. So I still haven't decided how I wanna set this up because I've I've got some inspiration from several places um, online. Let me see here, I'm kind of scattered all over. I'm gonna use this even though it's a thinner washi and I'm also not exactly sure which things I will put on here. So for now, I am just going to lay down the washi tape and probably use a sticky note to mark what this page is for. And then somewhere in the middle of the month or towards the end actually, I wanna take some time and I want to record what my current favorites were for January. So I want it to be things to reflect how I spent the month. So it's not something that I would write at the beginning. I want to know again, like in the middle of the month, if there's like a song that I heard um, or a movie that I'm loving, or do I pick up a new TV show? Um, maybe a book that I'm reading, which book am I reading at the time? So there's that. Where are my sticky notes? Over here. So not only am I unsure how I want to lay this out, because I've seen some where you just write, you know, currently reading, watching, drinking, um, all of those things, and then you just fill it in. But I've seen some more creative ones and I'm leaning towards that, but I just don't know currently. Currently page. Perfect. Um, let's see. I want this to be my monthly review. So again, let me open up my other, my December notebook. 
because I already did this. I'm trying to remember where in my notebook this was. Just further, okay. Here we go. Um, so mid-month and end of the month, I really love how I laid this out. And it allowed me to kind of take a look at my goals, um, how I was feeling for the month, and I think this is where I'm going to enjoy thinking over my word of the year, which is persist, and just kind of have a pep talk with myself. Like, am I just allowing myself to be defeated by what is or isn't going on? Or am I trying to persist? And if I can, are there any solutions? Um, do I need to adjust my routine? Is that what's getting in the way of me persisting? You know what I mean? Those kinds of things. So let's see. I just lettered across the center and I loved that. So I have really enjoyed this. It has, um, I just really hope it helps me stay more intentional. Did I write mid-month? I think I wrote mid-month. Mid-month. And end of month. So somewhere around the 15th would be mid-month, a few days before, a few days after. I will journal on this side and just kind of go through some of the, the key things like my how's my fitness going, how's our homeschool going, and then it should help me reset and focus and finish the month strong, and then I can take some notes about how that month ended, which will help me as I prepare for the upcoming month. So that one's done. Where's my list? Okay, so I've got my monthly reviews for the 15th and 30th. I've got my currently page. I've been saving screenshots and things from Pinterest as I decide how I want to do that. I did this monthly YouTube ideas, monthly menu, um, weekly chore and habit tracker. I'm going to do those next. Okay, so I have, oops, I found this on Pinterest. It was just a free thing that I found. And I'm just going to I put it like this and then have room for tape at the top. I don't use trackers very well or very consistently or often, <laughs> but I did want to remind myself of a few things, especially for January, just really trying to use that momentum that does come with the clean slate of the new year. I'm not doing anything drastic or revolutionary as far as um, resolutions or goals but I do want to be mindful and persist and so I want I want to be able to see the fruits of my labor I want to be able to see um, as I'm going through reading the Bible how am I doing on that how many days am I doing that um, workout and then I will do a few more because I haven't, oh, um, I did write a few down. Okay, um, writing. And evening planning. So what I wanna do more often is take my planner to bed and just kind of fill in and journal a little bit more. I don't know why I haven't been doing that. So, I'm just, I'm just here for that. Let's see what washi tape do I want to use. Um, let's use this one. Actually, I'm going to use a couple because I have a nice bit of room up there. Mostly straight. And I will also use this. Oops, keeps rolling away from me. This is just some sort of gray check. Um... This is a style that I ordered from the washi tape shop. Sometimes I really need just these little 
coordinating washies, these kind of accent washies, so that way I can take up more space and do more pretty things, and I just love how it looks. And you know what? Let me see if I want to use any of these stickers. I feel like I want a sticker like right there. Mm. I don't really like any of these. I'll go through some of my others and maybe check them out later. Okay. Let's see. Do I maybe want to put this one here? Because I don't think I'm going to have a full workout spread. Actually, I am. I think I'm just going to put this right in the center. Just kind of eyeball the center right here. Just put that there. You're only one workout away from a good mood and how true that is. Okay, so I've got my habit tracker. Um, let's see here. I want to put this one here. What is slow living? It relates to, it relates to my goals. It relates to my life, my philosophy in general, um, being intentional with life, but then also being persistent in the things that are important to me. And then on this opposite page, I think I'm gonna do, I don't think I'm gonna do a chore tracker. More like some seasonal type jobs that I wanna get done. Does that make sense? Let's see, which one haven't I used very often? I think I've really used all of these quite a few times, so we'll just keep going. And let's just put this down the side. So if there are some projects I would like to do, I want to put them here. There we go. Get my cutter. There. Oops, just picking more hairs off myself. Okay. Let's see. Hmm. Let me think here. How do I want to do this? Um, I'm actually going to put a sticky note in this <laughs> again because a part of me wanted to of do like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and so on. And then um, like maybe Monday is the kitchen and Tuesday is the bathrooms and just use it as in the month of January, do I kind of have certain days for certain things that doesn't typically work for me very often. Weekly chore schedule. Because we have seven kids, and so if the bathroom needs doing, it needs doing. If the floors don't need doing, they don't need doing. You know what I mean? Like, I don't have time to clean things that are already kind of clean and ignore things that really might need it. But my kids do some of those, like, daily wiping down the sink, and this would be more of a deeper clean, me coming in. Um, and I also was toying with the idea of having my kids help me, and... Um, maybe once a week we have a focus like the kitchen and so I'm going to pick a day and our tour for that day is I'm going to give one of my kids a washcloth and they're going to wipe down the kitchen walls and one kid is going to um, you know tidy up the Tupperware and one kid is going to wipe down the fridge and so all of us as a team are in the same room and we kind of deep clean so I just I'm going to I'm going to put what I need here and I have plenty of other pages if I need to flush that out a little bit more. So I did my habit tracker. So this page is actually done. All of the prompts I had on there. Um, I'm working on, I think I need to print out a, a monthly um, page here. And 
I used to do this thing where I would kind of plan out just the dinners and be able to see what kinds of dinners we ate for the month. So actually, I think I'm gonna use my, this washi tape again. And I, my computer that had those files on it um, died and I wasn't able to get those files off, which is okay because they're a couple years old at this point. I think I had a Peanuts Planner Co. undated monthly and I would just print it out and date it. But I've kind of been eyeing um, an Annie Plans printables this year that is dated. And so I might go ahead and get that and then I can have one in each notebook and use it to kind of plan ahead. It just helps me speed things up when it's grocery day. And then I can also see, you know, if we've been having something too often or not often enough. So, gotta get me a trusty sticky note here. All right, so, this will be the menu page. And again, I'm doing this in advance, so getting the basics set up is really helpful. January, monthly meals. Love it. So that's another page or another thing done. Okay. I need a January project page. So this is related to the chores, but this is going to so maybe this will be the one that's a little more specific to the month of January, if you will, just projects and cleaning that I wanna do. And the other one was a little bit more of that routine. I probably should have put these back to back, but that's okay. My brain is totally fine with things like that. I kind of learn very quickly that, you know, this page or spread is halfway through the book and this one you know, comes after this one. And so that's just how my brain works. And then if I rearrange things, sometimes I forget and I'm constantly going to where it used to be. <laughs> so it's like when you change the apps on your phone, like, oh, it makes more sense that I would have this one on the first page because I use it so often. Well, if I do that, then I can never find any of my apps because everything is shifted. It's weird. It's one of those things where it's like, it shouldn't make that much of a difference, but just that muscle memory and force a habit. So if I do P R O J, let me try to come over a little more. So P R O J E C T Yes, projects. I feel like I need to go through closets. They've gotten a little untidy. I think we need to tidy them up. So let's put this one up here. Okay. So I'm gonna do girl closet one. <laughs> and girls closet two, because we have two girls rooms, closet two, my closet, and boys closet. They actually don't have a closet, they have a shelf, but we might be able to get them into a closet and we might need to tidy things up. Okay, so that's the projects. Where did that, oh, right here. Okay, so the last two things that I wanna set up for here are, and again, I think I'm gonna get a printable for this. Um, I was looking at Annie Plans printables and I have room for YouTube planning in my Hobonichi, but I just don't think that's gonna be where I'm gonna wanna see it. I think I'm gonna want it here and I actually don't even want to put down any washi tape because I'm not sure the size of the inserts I'm looking at. They're kind of a um, week on one page, almost Tobonichi style type of thing, but I think that's gonna give me room to write down the title of the YouTube video I'm doing on the day that it's supposed to come out and room to kind of have a checklist so that way I can, if I bulk, bulk 
film, then I know where I'm at and what I need to do. So I'm gonna have to save some pages. However, I decide to do this. YouTube, um, planning, and checklist, and checklist, checklist. There. So I'm gonna need probably four pages for that. And we're gonna give it a fifth one just in case, and I'm gonna only do this side for some Instagram ideas. And actually, I'm gonna use this, if you'll recognize this, this is a Peanuts Planner Co. insert. So I'm gonna put this one down. So let's see if I can just kind of track a little bit better when I'm posting and what I'm posting. Um, where do I want to put the washi tape? I think I'm going to do it on the inside right there. Let's come down a little like this and put some washi. What washi do I want? Hmm? I'm going to use this one. And if I need to, I can make this a decorative page, overflow notes if I don't use it. This is just my everything notebook. Okay, so that is everything. And I still have a handful of pages in the back to just scribble anything I want. I didn't do any of these front pages because this is gonna be my writing section. So let me just kind of pull out my other one. Hang on. So in December, I can only show you some of this. Let me just skip a couple pages. First off, there's a page here where I transfer tons of sticky notes. There's probably 15 sticky notes. And I just use them um, for notes. I have a bunch of notes actually sc scattered on my phone from when I was out the other day. And um, I didn't even pull out my Hobonichi to jot them down. I made a note and so I need to copy them. I printed out some inspiration. Um, I still need to fill some of this in but I have all of this room for notes and I've actually taken some notes here and I loved it and I would still like to have these, but I don't know why this didn't stick very well, this vellum, but it didn't. Um, I'm gonna put some washi tape down. Um, this is gonna be my sticky notes page. So let's do, um, let's do the snowman. So these sticky notes travel with me from journal to journal, book to book, because I'm never quite sure when they're going to be relevant or when I want to reference them. And so that's one of the reasons that I did them on sticky notes. Put these here. I'm trying to watch YouTube creators and read books about writing, just kind of reminding myself um, some of the finer points of editing and putting together a good novel. And I'm going to put this here, just inspiration for myself. Okay. This tape runner is my favorite. It is actually removable, repositionable. So if I put a, if I put this down really crooked, I can peel it up. So far in every paper that I've ever tried, um, Stalogy paper and Planner Perfect paper is the paper I've tried so far. And that's really nice. I have this linked in my Amazon favorites. It's a little bit more pricey than some off brands, but I feel like I'm paying for quality and I'm getting quality. So I really appreciate that. What do I want to put here? Um, I'm going to put, I don't know where I'm going to put. I'm going to put the January washi tape down the side like this. And just have this available for notes or other inspirational quotes and things like that. Um, and then honestly, um, I think I would rather leave this blank. Now that I've got the rest of it set up and I used my notebook for writing this month, in, you know, my December one, 
I wished I'd had more like scratch paper and a little bit less of these kind of formula pages where I felt like I could only write certain things. Um, because when I'm in the writing process and like I'm sitting there at my keyboard and I'm typing, I like to scribble things like, you know, what if she did this and then this and then this, and then I'm like, no, 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 no. She has to do this first, then this, and just really have that more really scratch paper. So I'm going to leave all of these blank. And then I have this whole half um, if I really want to sit down and be like, okay, I'm going to plot something out and make it nicer, I can add washi tape then. So let me show you what I've got. And I just realized I never stuck this one in. So I have some pages. I'm going to stick that in here at the back. But this is kind of my just cover page for January and my word for the year. A little bucket list. I can build and think about my capsule wardrobe. See my routines that I fill in, book ideas, and then what books I ended up reading this month, my currently page, which I'm looking forward to filling out, my review page to kind of try to keep my mind focused on persisting and finishing well, my habit tracker, my weekly chore routine schedule that I may want to try. This will be where I tape in a monthly calendar so I can just jot down all of the dinners we have for the month to help me plan easier, quicker, and better projects and things I want to work on. Um, YouTube planning that I'm going to have to figure out how I can do that for myself. You know what I didn't do is label this. Let's put Instagram at the top. Instagram. There we go. So I can jot some ideas down. I just have not been posting a lot there. Okay, so let's pop this here. This is again just kind of a reminder as it has to do with my goals, as it has to do with my word of the year and my overall vision for life. Um, just a homeschool quote, which you probably didn't have a chance to read yet. So let me flip that over. I do have a homeschool notebook, but it has kind of just enough space for me to be able to write down the things I need. So I did want to put this here. And again, just more homeschool inspiration or thoughts or ideas is kind of like an overflow I want to put here. So homeschooling allows you the freedom to step off the highway of learning and take a more scenic route along a dirt road. And I think this is really going to help me um, get through January, which can be a hard month to homeschool because everybody feels cooped up and the holidays are over. Um, just hopefully it will help me persist <laughs> and do what I need to do. So let's see here. Put this little birdhouse here. snowman in the corner. I didn't even think about how this looks more like a summer picture in the background. I was just thinking about the quote. So just a little bit of inspiration and again I just have a couple of notes pages left. So that is my January journal. It's all set up for me to swap out on the 1st of January and then I can use this all month long to guide me through some of the things I want to and need to do and then also be there for me as just the anything notebook where I can jot things down and I always know where to find it because it will be in this notebook. I hope this was enjoyable for you and that you will subscribe, like my video, and join me for the next video. Thanks! Bye!